great test. It's never easy. Woo. Uh -huh. Bade. Suck it up. Number one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your makeup last literally all day. Sweat proof, waterproof, oil free, literally everything. So if you have oily skin, this is definitely the video for you to watch because trust me, my skin is like so bad. So um, I did this exact makeup routine when I, when I went to a concert and I had I just had a long day that day anyway. So and my makeup literally lasted for like a good 12 hours and it did not shift. So if you want to see how to make your makeup last all day, then please stay tuned and carry on watching. Also, if you guys are wondering where this hair guys this hair listen this hair is beautiful like it's so soft i can't even stop running my fingers through like can you guys see this do you see this so this hair is from um wiggins hair so this is a Persian straight hair and they sent me four bundles of 28 inches and um a 20 inch lace frontal and guys this hair is literally past my bump i'm 5'3 so like this hair is super super long super long on me and the hair is just so nice it's beautiful like oh my god i'm not even trying to gas them that's the thing when it comes to shedding i do experience like one or two strands which isn't bad the only thing i do not like about this hair is that um it freezes but once you literally want to run your fingers through this hair or you brush it it just goes back to being you know how it should be this is one of the softest hair that i've had in a while like i'm not even trying to gas them up or anything this hair is very very soft and even the luster of the hair as well like it's just so oh listen and like the front also was very easy to work with guys best believe i didn't do anything i did not do anything to this frontal like i didn't pluck it all i done was i bleached the frontal and that was it like if you guys look at the hairline of this frontal my goodness so i'll definitely recommend you getting your frontal from them if you if you're not good with like working with frontals and plucking and stuff like that so literally all i did was i um i bleached the frontal and that's literally all that i did and guys this hair is so beautiful i'm not even gonna lie it's so nice and their hair is very affordable as well that's one thing i've noticed about this company this is like my third or fourth time working with them doing a video on 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 their hair and this hair guys so good it's so nice like it just makes me feel i don't know you just you know it's just oh it's nice hair but anyway if you guys want to see how um i did my makeup and how you can make your makeup last all day carry on watching and don't forget to comment subscribe like and share and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye so the first thing i like to do is i like to um put some powder on my eyebrows which i've already done but i'm going to show you guys again so um i'm just going to use a trans a translucent powder just to you know get rid of the excess oil that i have around my brows at the moment so the next thing i like to do is i'm going to brush my um eyebrows and then i'm going to fill them in and i like to be honest yeah i don't know because sometimes i use the abh dip brow pomade and sometimes i just prefer to use an eyebrow pencil just because i think it's quicker and you get the same results anyway so this is the remote eyebrow pencil in black brown Okay, so my brows are done now. The next thing would be to obviously moisturize your face, which I've already done. I always use um, coconut oil to moisturize my face. And I know you guys are probably thinking, if you have oily skin, why are you using oil to moisturize your face? But then to me, it's like, I feel like once you're using like powder and a mattifying primer, mattifying foundation, your, your face is going to end up producing more oil because your skin isn't moisturized. So you need to use something to like just keep it moisturized and like. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face with my um what's it my angel veil primer which is good for oily skin because it's oil free i mean another primer that i could recommend to you guys is the urban decay primer that primer guys is so good oh my god i'm not even like trying to gas you like that primer is amazing but the thing is yeah if you overdo it with that primer your face is going to look so dry it's going to look cakey and it's just i don't know that's why i don't really use that primer as much as i use this one that one is like if you have excessive oily skin then you can use that primer so now that i've primed my face the next thing would be for me to set my face with a um powder i'm going to be using a translucent powder this is the laura mercier one so um and i'm going to be using the beauty blender to apply this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to literally press this powder into my skin especially around the parts of my face where i get 
really really oily and then i'm gonna go around my mouth as well because i tend to get oily around here as well my beauty blender is damp by the way if anyone's wondering if you have dry skin please do not try this because mate <laughs> your face is going to look so dry so ashy and just so cakey so you don't want to try this if you have um if you have dry skin this is really for like if your skin is oily and you want to make your makeup to last all day so i'm just going to leave that to sit on my face for a bit and then after like 20 seconds what i do is i just wipe it off the foundation that i like to use now because i don't know if you guys remember from one of my previous video i was saying that i wanted to try a new foundation so this is a new foundation that i've been trying and i really really like it like i like the finish only thing is it is like really it's full coverage so it's a thick foundation so this is the chanel foundation and i'm in the shade 132 this foundation is very very like long wearing and it's full coverage and it's mattifying so i'm just gonna apply my foundation all over my face one thing as well when you're using this foundation you have to be quick with it because it dries really quick so um what you can do is you can mix it with an oil or something i don't have an oil that i can use right now so i'm just gonna just have to work fast with it really it is a bit red on me but once it sets into my skin it just blends in another long wearing foundation that i can recommend to you guys is the urban decay one i still have that foundation but because i've had it for so long i don't know if i can still use it and that foundation is so thick like oh my god guys but the only thing is with um their color range for that foundation is a bit a bit weird so because the one I have is like literally so orange on me. Okay, so now that I've applied my foundation, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal my under eyes under NYX HD Studio Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Golden. Now that I've concealed my under eye, I'm going to move ahead to highlight my face. And I'm going to be using the NYX HD Concealer again, but this is in the shade Caramel. This concealer is a bit yellow, like it's just weird. It's like a yellowy greenish color. And this is my first time using it as well so i'm just hoping it comes out right <laughs> literally and another thing i've learned as well if you have oily skin it's good to leave the concealer to sit on your face for a bit just because it gets thicker and then you get more coverage from that as well guys oh, i don't know what you guys can see on camera but i legit feel like i look green this concealer I'm so scared to carry on my makeup because I feel like my concealer is green. I feel like it's green. Okay, so um, I, I, guys, I don't know what's going on with this concealer. Like, I just feel like I look green or like, it's just, no, this is my first time using it and I seriously don't like this shade. So that's the NYX Concealer in Caramel. It just looks a bit green to me. So I'm going to put my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee on top of it just to see if that can help to do something. I don't know. okay guys like i seriously don't know what's going on with my makeup today it looks like there's a black patch on my chin from me blending out that nyx concealer and there's a patch on my forehead as well but i'm gonna carry on this makeup because i'm going out and <laughs> i'm running out of time for me to start all over again so okay once you're done blending your blending your concealer what you want to do is you want to set your concealer straight away because you don't want it to crease up so i'm gonna be using my Fashion Fair Oil Control Setting Powder in the shade Golden. Another thing I've been doing lately is always that I bake my eyebrows. This just helps to like stop your eyebrows from um, getting oily. It just helps to keep it matte as well. I know it sounds weird like you're baking your eyebrows the fuck, but trust me, it works. <laughs> so I'm, instead of using the same powder that I used to set my concealer, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So then obviously I can just wipe it off. So I'm literally just gonna put this all over my brows. <laughs> and now the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set the rest of my face where i don't have the setting powder on and i'm using my mac studio fix powder and this is in the shade nw50 and one thing as well because i apply the translucent powder on my face before applying my foundation that helps to reduce like smile lines around your mouth and like around your nose as well so I'm going to use my ABH eyeshadow and I'm just going to use these two dark brown shades to contour my face. Okay, so now that I've contoured my face, I'm going to finally wipe off this powder that I have on my eyebrows. 
if it's not coming off with your brush all you need to do is just go back in with your spoonie and just brush off the powder so now I'm just going to apply my blush off or blush I'm going to be using um, the ABH blush trio and this is Berry Adore so there's three shades I'm going to be using this shade and this shade is called Velvet so now before I carry on what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face but I'm going to use a dewy set and spray this is the NYX dewy finish set and spray and I know you're thinking baby why would you use a dewy set and spray but I'm using a dewy set and spray just so the makeup can melt into my skin then once I'm done and with my makeup and everything then I'm going to use the revolution oil control set and spray which is a mattifying set and spray and I'm literally going to drench my I'm going to drench my face in that set and spray literally so Moving on to my eyeshadow, I'm literally going to do something so simple. So I'm just going to literally um, prime my eyelids with the concealer. Okay, so now I'm just going to like rebake my under eye. I know you guys are probably thinking, Bemi, this is a lot of step, but trust me, it's worth it because at the end, your makeup really does last long and it just stays on and this is also going to help to get rid of any fallouts that I have from me doing my eyeshadow so I'm just going to go in with um, Burnt Orange from my Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid once that's done I'm going to put um, Real Gar and Cypress Umbar in my crease okay so now that I've um, done my crease I'm just going to apply this golden um, eyeshadow from my Austrian eyeshadow palette and this palette is by OPV so I'm just going to be using this shade right here it's called golden okay so I've applied my lashes off camera and now I'm just going to dust off the rest of the powder on my face because I don't need it anymore so to highlight my face I'm going to be using the ABH glow kit and sun dipped and I'll be using this too to highlight my face I'm going to wet my brush I'm just going to spray my brush with a setting spray and I'm just going to get rid of the excess for my nose I like to use like a very small brush so this is the Sigma pencil E30 brush so now before I do my lips I'm gonna set my whole face and I'm gonna be using the revolution um, setting spray this is the oil control setting spray and this is really good like it literally holds your makeup so Okay, so I'm going to finish my eye makeup and I'll be right back to do my lips because my battery is going to die, so... Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like and share. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!